Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 Tube YouTube channel and welcome to my Abu Dhabi Grand Prix review. And 2019 in terms of the Formula 1 season is over. I cannot believe it, we're going into hibernation for the next 3 months but don't worry, Australia will come as soon as you know it. But the season ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was a bit of a bore fest, let's be honest. Minimal action at the front, yes we did get a few wheel to wheel moves but ultimately it wasn't the most intriguing race I've ever watched. But hey that's Abu Dhabi what do we come to expect? Let's have a quick look at the race results and Lewis Hamilton drove a serene race. He was dominant out in front converting pole into victory. He headed home Max Verstappen in P2 and Charles Leclerc in P3 but the Ferrari driver will go to the stewards I will have more on that later. Bottas bounced back to P4 with Vettel in P5, Alvin in P6 then Perez 7th, Norris 8th, Kvyat 9th and Sainz P10. Then in the lower half of the field we have Ricardo, Hülkenberg, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Russell, Gasly and Kubica with your only retirement from the Grand Prix being Racing Point's Lance Stroll. Let's start off with our race winners Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes and as I said before Lewis drove a serene race. He was utterly transcendent. When you have Lewis that dominant and when you have the Mercedes car running at such a rapid pace this is an unstoppable force. He led every lap, he set the fastest lap and he sees out his sixth world championship season with a dominant win. And next season Lewis has a massive opportunity to break multiple records held at the moment by Michael Schumacher. So for Lewis, bring on 2020. Valtteri Bottas stormed back to P4. It can be turned into a P3 if Charles Leclerc is penalised but Bottas did drive a very decent race. No, a very good race, in fact. He drove through the field brilliantly, and considering that DRS was disabled for the first 18 or 19 laps, unaiding his progress, Bottas had a strong end to the season. Red Bull up next, and they had a mixed race. Max Verstappen firstly finished in P2. He did fend off some mechanical or technical issues, and he did drive a very strong race. He initially was behind Charles Leclerc, on lap one but later on in the race he passed the Ferrari driver. Apart from that it was just a very controlled and very mature drive once again in 2019 from Max Verstappen. This year has definitely been his best year in Formula One. Alex Albon today like the rest of the weekend has really really struggled. I mean he just didn't have the pace did he? He should have outperformed the Ferraris with the car he was in but he finished P6. So not the greatest race for Albon but I'm sure there's a lot to build upon for next year with a podium awaiting for the tie driver. Charles Leclerc finished P3 on the road ending what has been a very promising year for the Monagas driver but he will have to go to the stewards over a fuel irregularity problem about how much fuel Ferrari actually put in the car and if I'm honest I'm expecting Ferrari to face some big big punishments. That is of course if they've broken any rules. Vettel just hasn't had the greatest of weekends has he? Maybe due to the birth of his son by the way congratulations Vettel on that. Maybe that kind of hindered his mental you know approach to this weekend but he just hasn't been on the pace. Let's meet the facts he just has not been and also his progress wasn't exactly aided by the fact he had a very slow first pit stop that cost him a huge amount of time but Vettel not the greatest end to a pretty mediocre season. On lap one Stroll and Gasly came to blows and then Gasly hit Perez. Perez was very lucky to carry on. He continued and finished P7. He went very long on his first stint but had the premium of grip at the end of the race and eventually got past Lando Norris on the final lap of the race. For Gasly and Stroll their first lap collision pretty much wrecked their race. Stroll was eventually retired to the rear end of the race and Gasly finished P18. Daniil Kvyat had a similar race to Sergio Perez, went long on his first stint and then had the premium of grip in the second stint of his race and finished P9. McLaren had a decent end to their season. Lando Norris came home P8. He just couldn't fend off Sergio Perez in the end. He pitted very early and was just 
not a sitting duck to Perez, but just couldn't fend him off. Carlos Sainz came home P10, passing Nico Hülkenberg in the dying stages of the Grand Prix to secure P6 in the championship. Renault scored no points again, capping off a dismal season really for the team. Nico Hülkenberg did actually jump his teammate Daniel Ricciardo in the first round of pit stops, but then Ricciardo pit for a second time and he got past Hülkenberg on the final lap. However, neither driver scored points. It's a shame for Hülkenberg especially. He did drive very well and had the measure of Danny Rick, but the strategy just did not play out for the German, ending his Renault spell and possibly his F1 spell in underwhelming fashion. But I will say this, it is a major shame to see Nico Hülkenberg leave the F1 grid, for the time being at least. Alfa Romeo had absolutely zero pace during the whole weekend and were never going to score points. Kimi Raikkonen finished P13 with Giovinazzi P16. Haas were in the same boat really, had absolutely no pace throughout qualifying or the Grand Prix and it is no surprise to see them not scoring points. And rounding out the fields, Williams once again just no pace whatsoever. This car has got to go down in one of the worst F1 cars of recent times. Somehow worse than their 2018 car. But Russell once again had the measure of Kubica. Kubica bows out in P19. You know, Roberts has a remarkable comeback following that horrific rally crash in 2011. And he is an inspiration to every single motorsport fan and sports fans to how he dealt with that and bounced back to come back to F1. So although 2019 hasn't been the year he would have hoped for, he's an absolute inspiration to each and every one of us. Now, depending on Charles Leclerc's investigation, some of these points tallies could change, but Lewis Hamilton at the moment has finished the season 87 points clear of Valtteri Bottas, his teammate, who comes home a career-best P2 in the championship. Max Verstappen has defended the two Ferraris from third place in the championship, capping off what has been a masterclass of a season from the Dutchman. Charles Leclerc finishes ahead of Sebastian Vettel in the standings. After all the speculation heading into 2019, the Monagas driver has beaten his German teammate at the first time of asking. Carlos Sainz finishes P6 and best of the rest in the championship. Congratulations to him. He finished just a mere point ahead of Pierre Gasly in 7th with Alex Albon 8th, Danny Rick 9th and Sergio Perez in P10. Lando Norris finished outside the top 10 being passed by Sergio Perez on the final lap with Kimi Raikkonen in P12, Daniil Kvyat P13, Hülkenberg P14, then we have Stroll in 15th, Magnussen 16th, Giovinazzi 17th, Grosjean 18th, then we have Kubitsa 19th, and George Russell brings up the 2019 field. It was a Mercedes masterclass in 2019. They finished 235 points clear of Ferrari in P2 with Red Bull P3, McLaren best of the rest in P4, Renault P5, disappointing season for them of course, Toro Rosso P6, Racing Point P7, Alfa Romeo in 8th, Haast in a disappointing ninth and Williams, let's be honest, they were pretty much rooted to the bottom of the field ever since we began pre-season testing. But guys, that is it for the 2019 season. As I've said before, it's been an absolute blast and I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this season. It's definitely been a brilliant campaign of Formula One racing and... You know, I'm so looking forward to 2020 with Zandvoort returning. We're going to be heading to Vietnam for the first time. F1 is definitely in a good place for next season. However, guys, I will be back and I will be pumping out some more content for you guys during the winter months and especially in the next three or four weeks we will be doing some videos not reviewing 2019 as a whole but looking at the best drivers ranking the best races so there is definitely some fun content planned on this youtube channel but guys that is it for today's video please like this video comment down below what you thought of the grand prix and this review and if you haven't already please subscribe to the f1 tube youtube channel for more content like this but until next time guys see you later